How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. This is the second Hemingway kit that I picked up. Uh, this is the, actually the one I bought, the spherical turning tool. The rotor, rotary brooch one, uh, they just sent on along as a gimme. Very nice of them. So that came out really well, the rotary brooch. Uh, I'm going to make some more brooches for it. Uh, but I'm going to continue on with this, uh, start this kit. Uh, it's going to be a, quite a few videos probably. But, uh, it's a complicated project. So, uh, the write-up on this one, the other one was uh, quite a few pages. I don't know, 10, 10 12 pages. This one's only one, two, three pages of write-up. Here's the drawings. Real nice, again, they're, their drawings are wonderful drawings. Really, really good. 3Ds, cutaways. Um, there's only a, let's see, three three drawings, of the parts. As you can see, use of a we have to do a little dovetail cutting. We'll uh, have a bit of engraving to do for a dial. So this will take a little bit. I'm back working again, so starting tomorrow again after the holidays. So happy New Year, everybody! I hope everybody's had a great holidays, safe holidays. So let's uh, we're going to run through some of the what came with the kit, other than the drawings. I kind of went through and labeled things. So this is a piece of. Uh, we're going to start off number the first part. So this is an inch and a, inch and a quarter square steel stock. This will be the body, about three three inches long. The head, what they call the head piece, two by oh five eighths chunk steel. Uh, what else here? Part number. Let's go down the list here. Part number three. This little piece here is for the dovetail pieces. I went through and labeled them all. It makes it a little quicker to find them. Half by oh three eighths. Four is the slide. Another chunk, uh, inch and a half by three quarter. What do we got here? This is uh, this one's for tool holders, five eighths square. Keep hitting the camera, don't I? Slide arm, part number five, half by square, half square. Piece of inch and a quarter round stock, inch and five eighths, or a boss and a washer, part six and seven. Then we got the shaft. I think this is, uh, let's see here, what's the shaft? This is a silver steel or drill rod, chunk of five eighths by four and a half or so. On the arm, this is just uh, they call it free free machining steel. So uh, you know it could be uh, 12L14 or a few others. So it's about six inches of five sixteenths rod. A feed screw, another free machining steel, three and a quarter inches by. Half and a chunk of brass, half by two and a quarter. That's for the locking screw and nut. And what's this? This is a small, this is uh, 13, 14 uh, push, push rod and dowel. Yeah, push rod and dowel. So it's five, th this is five thirty seconds by three and five eighths. And that's a uh, silver steel also, or drill rod, here in the U.S. So, uh, and then there's a whole bag of parts that come with it. Let's see here. We got you know a couple of oil uh, bearing bushings, well, wash dust washers. Uh, Screws, 
and I believe they're all no I think they're all metric screws uh, knob for the handle and I they call this cut it says cut hard on it if you're wondering what that says quarter inch okay so I, that's a uh, tool steel it might be high-speed steel for the tool bits yeah there it is oh it says it right there just got a read right so it says a quarter inch by three high-speed steel piece of tool steel so that's the kit and uh, we're gonna go over and get started uh, right off the bat is the body now the reading the instructions they do this all on the lathe since I have a milling machine I kind of tending toward not doing it on the lathe uh, I'm gonna think about that in a minute see what I got for boring bars to be able to bore through this all the way it might be easier to bore this on the lathe so I might probably gonna I'm probably gonna take the mill face it off it's it's too long uh, it's about a quarter of an inch too long so there's plenty of room to face off and then we'll put it in four jaw chuck and drill it bore it would be easier on the lathe I have a nice boring bar that will work it needs to be three quarter board and I also have a nice three quarter reamer here I might be using depending on how this will just be long enough as far as reaming the hole all the way so I might I might use this I haven't decided yet uh, depending on how the boring comes out which probably will come out really good and then I have a little set of plug gauges I got from uh, Tom Linton down at the bash and here's a three-quarter one so that's three-quarter that's one under and that's one over so I could use this as my gauge really nicely so I think uh, time to go to work on this. Well, I mentioned it was the body is the first part actually it's the side arm that goes on the body is the first part pretty simple overall length will be two and five eighths three holes counterboard so I'm just going to clean it up flip it over clean it up and then we're just going to drill some counterboards this is so you can attach it in your tool post or on a quick change tool holder uh, this is what that's for this is a high speed three quarter inch end mill Niagara cutter one of the ones that I received from Dennis Nolan Just want to clean up the saw holes. mark. One in the middle of the length, which is 2.6, so centered up, centered up this way, and then seven sixteenths in from each end. Three holes. We got our three holes drilled. And I only drilled them so the pilot to the pilot size of the counter bore. And then I'm going to go back and drill them for a clearance hole. So that will go right there and then the proper size of clearance hole afterwards. We're going to drill these uh, 200 deep. I said 200 millimeters. Now it's, it's 200 thousandths. Just so you <laughs> I think it's funny that they mix. They said the diameter of the hole is eight and a half millimeters, but the depth is two hundred thousand. So they mix the. They really shouldn't do that. They they mix the the units on their dimensions. I, I don't I don't think you should do that. It makes it too confusing sometimes. Now we'll drill them to the proper clearance hole. And I think I'll run a chamfer on the top edges there. There we go. All cleaned up. Just a little quick stone on them. They say to draw file the whole thing. Well, I don't know if I'll do that. So that looks 
That'll be that'll be good. Plenty of clearance. Make it nice and easy.